you go. Yes, you are. Finally. Finally. Oh, thank you. And so, so you could let's tell our, our friends and family what we are doing today. What we are, okay. what we are, what we are working on today. What we are working on today and Tessa and I, we really know this is working we don't share for self share and self-care if it's not working if we don't go through it and then we are going to uh today introduce about uh power of writing down that's it's right self-care some people are just like writing down for self-care yes you know what if you guys stay with us watch be with us a self care show today you will know the why the power of writing down is self care to be working for us self care as a self care power of writing down i am pretty sure some of you you guys in here they do know what we mean right so i'm sure they do i am sure they do because we are we always talk about it on the morning blessings we talk about it on your show we talk about it on um you go on a journey we talk about it on the testimony show at night so yeah. what we what we're trying to do is it somebody said to me what are you guys doing today and i said drop in to see she said yeah. to me are you guys um having to find it hard to get topics i said of, of course not hello of course I not you. of course not i said topics are flowing from us all the time so, and, and yes she, and she said to me really i think from now you guys would be fed up with what you're doing i said self care is a is a thing that we do self care is every yep. day every minute every second of every yep. day self care is astonishingly beautiful self care is so many different things so we we as two ladies we have always practiced self care in that way when you take your things and you write it down you leave room in your mind for new things to come so that you could tell them a little bit more about that the the power of writing down yes too. give them a little bit more okay it's things first things it's right power of writing down it's a self care we don't we, we always enjoy. do share something about we you guys tip with the how and something you can do right away something doesn't cost much money and then writing down if you have pen and paper write it down and you know what how many thoughts we have a day you remember that you remember like Tessa and I we always talk about how many thoughts it come up our brain 60,000 to 70,000 a day right and then just like just so, so many thoughts you don't even know like you've been repeating same things then then there are few or hopefully hundred you will have a right thought for yourself very positive one makes your life better so that's why it comes you have to write it down it's a power you have to let your thought out of it once you write it down you will it's it's not messy anymore it might be messy at the beginning but as you write it down and you start to notice what your desire about i don't say want right this oh no, no we don't use want when we when we when you when we looking for something it's a desire and desires come from within you your desire is deep within you and if you want want is out there want is Oh well, I'll maybe get it. I maybe will will not get it. And I look at want as a bottomless pit. It has a hole. So the more the, the more you say you want, the more it drops into the ground and it disappears down the rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen. But a desire comes desire. from within. The desire yeah. comes and it moves into your heart. Yeah. And when you have a desire, it's like when you're looking for a, a lover. <laughs> when you're looking you desire this person and that's all you can think of that is what yeah. each of your passions should be that's when right you write it down you can write about it you can put the pen to the paper and look at how you could showing these things and i have been doing that forever i love writing and mm -hmm. i write in cursive so everything is when i write i write and it's almost like my letters are rolling into each other 
Yeah. So I love that. So when I put my desires or the plans that I have down on paper, they're purposefully done. Yeah. That does not mean that we write it once and then we walk away. We might come back tomorrow and refresh it. Yeah. We'll give it something else to do yeah. that will say, okay, let's let's make it wider. Yeah. Just, and that's why you go is showing that page those pages is to show you like, when you put it down on paper it's important but there are little tricks we have that we use mm -hmm. i'm going to tell you when you open that book who does the book belong to who is the owner of that book who is it say who it is so on the first page you write you that's Shop. so true There's first page yeah january 5th 19 what 2021 and the time and where I am, yeah. where are you at that moment? You will forget in 10 years where you were when you wrote this thing that has all come yeah. true. It's and important to put the date, stuff. you're right. Yeah. Go ahead, you go tell them about the magic of it all. <laughs> magic of writing down? Yes, the magic of writing down. But first of all, don't you like it? Life is beautiful. I know. Okay, this is this is one of my notebooks. I've been going through so many notebooks because I've been writing down. And at first, when I started, it was scary. And then I wasn't sure, but I just like, you know what? I heard writing down is the way to step. I mean, go up, you know, first step for your desire, right? So that's how I started. It's, it's, uh, magic is, I mean, what do you want me to share? Like, you want me to share, like, uh, okay, so you how do I write can tell them, it's when you go to choose your journal or the book you want to write, not a journal, the, the book you're writing, your wants, which you, you people use, but I'm going to say your desires, your dreams, your goals your accomplishments to be in the moment when you go to get that book you must romance the book everything yes. has to yes. be loved That's so if right. you don't just walk in the store and pick up the first book and go oh, okay cash it's twenty dollars i'll take it no 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 i oh, don't grab do it. it and uh, i i fell in love with it yeah you have to touch it and, and caress the book. It. Fill and i look through touch it pages Right. Yes, and touch those pages. Look at the pictures. Do they yeah. do they reflect you as a person? And I talk to the notebook. Yes, Let's you go do. Home. You can. <laughs> I will take you home. I'll cherish you. I'll cherish you too. Right? I I have special pens that I. Oh use. yeah, you do. Yes, I do. I didn't bring them out, but you know, <laughs> I use one black. I I have two of those, and I that's what I. They are gifts. My, my daughter Vanessa bought me one, my son Michael bought me one because I love pens, I love heavy and one fly is heavy and yeah. when you write it, it, so you have to tell the book I'm going to use a special pen, yep. everything has to have that connection mm -hmm. and people say you're talking to a book, yes, you have to talk to your possessions you wanted them, you desire them, you That's have them so, so talk This to is them. you too, this is part of you It is, it becomes you Yeah, yeah. It becomes me. You write the pants, everything you own. It, it becomes you. So why don't you write it down? It's yeah. part of you. You just transfer to part of you to this beautiful notebook. Yes. Yeah. I, and, and, then, then we, yeah. and then we have this thing that we ask you to do. When you write it down, and if you, when you, at first when you're writing it down, you're not being particularly specific. You might be a little bit saying to yourself, well, I desire that. And if you look back, you will say, I want. No, you change that to desire. Or I would prefer to have. I prefer to do this. I prefer. You use words that form from the top of your mouth there. You That's don't interesting. Go, you That's don't go so to the words that are deep in the throat. They're too I always, sorry, I always, I don't want to cut you off, but yeah, no, when no, you go, explain, yeah. I find, it was so impressive. And I started to pay attention to what I said. Thing we don't say, right, Taran, Hiroko, Kalavi, we don't say budget. <laughs> we don't say want. We say, say, instead of budget, we say spending plan. <laughs> so and it yeah. say, instead of say want, we say desire. Like we started to pay attention to the words. 
But all of the war is coming back to us. Right? Yes. Yeah. So you have sorry, to. sorry to catch up. I wanted to just explain to everybody. No, no, that's great. I love it. That's that is how we have to do it. We have to yeah. feed off each other. Yeah. You have a string and I'm supposed to catch it and pull it and you take it back. And that's the magic of the self care show. We teach mm-hmm. people how to live, how to cooperate, yeah. how yeah. to understand each other. And we share. There is no. It, our self care show is like the five pillars of prosperity. We are both equal. We just feed off each other. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it all is that we love it. So when you want to go in, just cut me off. Who cares? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> but you know, you let know, me tell I them. Know, when, I know. when I first started writing, I always yeah. wrote. And my my mom was a list maker, a writer. She would always write a little list of what she has to do today. And then, of course, my dad being an architect, everything had to be written. So mm-hmm. I grew up in that type of household. But what really, really shocked me was when at school they got us to watch the movie with Newell Brenner being Pharaoh and Charleston Heston being Moses. Mm-hmm. And in the in that movie, I, they said those words. And he said when he had the, the Israelites um, making bricks with clay and straw, and there was a team of slaves, Israelite slaves, that were collecting straw. So when Moses came and shook the apple, the, the apple cart upside down, Pharaoh got angry. So he said to the to the scribe, the guys writing the thing down in the tablet yeah. of stone or whatever, and he said to him. No, you shall make the same amount of bricks, but you, that team that was making the bricks, you have to now go and gather this, this straw. Mm-hmm. Because Moses came and shook him up. So he said, then he turned to the scribe with his coat flinging this way. <laughs> and he said, So let it be written, so let it be done. And I went, Wow, wow, wow. wow. That, that just took me yeah. seven years old. And that just took me into it. And I'm thinking, Wow. So if you write it down, so because this guy is writing it down, I took it literally. I didn't stop to think. I'm 16. I'm impressive. So I said, okay. That's something. Yeah. So I am going to practice that. What I desire, of course, in those days, I use the word want. What I want, yes. I'm going to write it down. And honestly, there hasn't been anything that I desired in my life that I wrote down that I didn't accomplish. I am not saying to you, it came next morning. It took time. It took yeah. action. Yeah, I had to take action behind those those ones at the time. No, their yeah. desires. But I took action. I took purposeful action. I took planning. The spending plan was one of those things. So that's what I did, and that's where that came from. So just in case you want, for me anyway. I love the story. Actually, I've watched the movie once. I have to watch again. You should. That part yeah. alone is worth watching it for. Actually, yeah, you bring Hi Marina. Yeah. He's he's same as birthday of mine too. That's how I remember him. Oh <laughs> his birthday is July eleventh. Oh I see. Why do there I you know go? That? There you go. <laughs> there is a connection right there. Yes. But I do believe. Now it's really believe. Like write it down, the power of writing down. And then Tessa said, and I really agree, when you write down, you have to put your emotion into it. Oh, yes. Right emotion. Oh. Don't be afraid. <laughs> it's easy to say, oh, I'm not quite sure I can do this, but I write it anyway. I understand, but you have to switch. You have to tell yourself, this is, it's, it's like, I, it's, it's a, how does it, present sentence past it it's already done write it down as if already happens yes and believe yourself believe it believe your put faith behind it and yes. believe put the faith behind it an emotion yeah you my, my husband emotion. used to tease me and he said <laughs> he didn't plant a seed in the garden but he said to me when those plants are growing because they're afraid of you <laughs> <laughs> He said, you put them oh in the ground. I am watching you. He said, and you're saying, you better grow. He said, I said, I don't grow. say that. He said, no, your action says grow or else. 
<laughs> I put so much emotions in everything I do. If of I'm course. cooking, it's the same thing. Everything is extra, and I'm it just I don't you know. know That's a, I, I was made this way. <laughs> no, 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 no. I agree. I'm sure so many of you guys here they do agree 100. When I cook, <laughs> every chop. Every time I peel, every time I stir,、yeah. oh, yeah. I put the love and just like it's better be good. <laughs> better. Like, and maybe some wine、good. will help. Some somebody <laughs> sauce and then I'm swimming. Yeah. <laughs> no, I but put, and then like you have to put emotion. Like otherwise, it's like if the food is not good, you can tell the difference. You can、of、tell the difference when you put it in your mouth. And just like the people had cook or chef or us, we put emotion to it. You、we、must have emotion. You must. When you're writing the story、yes. of what you want to become, yes, make it interesting. Make it interesting. When you put your pen to the paper, you should、yes. see the imprint on the other page. That's emotion going into it. That's gotta, work. That Take、way. your time. Sit down with a cup of coffee. Sit down with a cup of tea, a glass、yeah. of wine, a, a dram of scotch, just a dram of single malt, <laughs> whatever is going to be your pleasure. And sit down, make it special, make yourself comfortable,、mm -hmm. you know, and and close your eyes and put yourself in、yep. the moment of acquiring that which you desire, and then begin to write. Remember, put your name on the page, the date, the time,、yeah. and where are you? Where are you sitting to do this? I'm sitting in my living room. You can say in my house. So I don't know. Do your thing. Yeah. I, I will talk and I'll say today I'm writing this. It's 9:15 in the morning. It's snowing outside. Um. I, so I decided to put the fire on and it's at the date is here, of course. And I'm writing my de my desire and I put it down. Every day I have a plan for today. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what it is. So、yeah. that's what you have to do. It's a self care because when you take that emotion, that thing you you so desire, if you just have it in your head and you're going da la la la, one day I'll do this. But you know what? I desire to be this rich human being. I desire to have a a, a beautiful garden. I desire to cook this amazing meal for my family. Yeah, and you just that, that all、yeah. those things are in your head. They should drive you to drink. You have to take them and make them a reality. Put them on paper, and then you don't treat them yeah, from by... clutter in your mind and give them air to grow and to you know to bloom. So you know, that's not you. You have to treat yourself good. You If you just like you know you're not tasting it, you're not engaging it. You're just like oh I gotta write. Oh I get so many things. Like, are you treating yourself good? But they, they, they look like the um the. the The rabbit in Alice in Wonderland, you know. I'm yeah, going like a <laughs> rabbit. Yep,、yeah, like oh my gosh, oh no, it's time to go, right? <laughs> yeah, it's time to go. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. No,、yeah. I'm done. No, and you know what? If somebody else treats you that way, I'm sure you get upset, right? If that person they don't listen to me, you know, when I'm talking, and they're just playing the phone, not pay attention what you're saying, what you're doing. You get upset, and why you do it for you to yourself? You have to engage yourself, and the writing is one of my one of the things because you have sixty. I like this sixty thousand to seventy thousand thousand thoughts, thoughts every day, and every they're day. the same from yesterday. Yeah, and then you have to catch the right one, catch to your notebook and pen, and like Tessa said. Write it down so, like the other pages, you can just see through, right? You can just kind of feel it. Yeah, you have to put your emotion put it to there. it. Everything、yeah. you do has to have emotion.、Yep. If you don't do it, self-care is not worthy. You cannot keep walking through this world with no aim, no purpose, no direction,、mm -hmm. no plans. Come on, man, that's not going to help you. The point of it all is to have an action. What am I、yeah. going to do about this today? Action is so important. You、yes. you know when something is truly yours,、yes. it does not leave you. You 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 feel it. You hear it. You you try to ignore it. It trips you. You're talking to somebody and then you you're lost in thought because this thing is saying you need、yeah. to take care of me. You need to、that's, give me some love. I am yours. That's so true.、Talk. Yeah. 
up. Because how many times we just like, oh, I have a good idea. Oh, I have, I need to do this. And because we're not writing down, five minutes later, what was it? Oh, it's, it's even worse when somebody else takes that idea and uses it. I know. It's just like, it's like, like it, a brand that's new so section of, this, yeah. of writing things down. That book is special. What you have written down in that book is absolutely personal and special and your desire and your preference, everything about you. Mm -hmm. So prying eyes should not be looking at it. You don't share those goals and those desires and those plans with someone who will tell you, you're, you're stupid. You wouldn't do this. You're not good enough. You're too short for that. Really? You think you with that little bit of education you got can do this? No, don't share it. That don't means, share. That's so true. Share. And then I've heard because it's negative energy, negative comments, negative somebody's opinions, it's easier to get in. It, you, we tend to let in easier and it that is. discourages us. So your dream, not dream, your desire is your desire, not somebody else's desire, right? And then you can share it once you feel more stronger, once it comes true. This is what I wrote down. Yes. Keep it to yourself. Put it down, Even if like put it down 10 family. years ago. I, and, and another thing too with those things, there, there's a thing that I keep hearing. Don't, don't tell me, show me. Show me. Show me. I like that. Me. That don't tell me what you're going to do, just show me. So you have to take it and say, okay, I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm going to show them I can do this. I'm going to show them I can succeed. I'm going to show them I'm going to be this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to show them that I am successful at what I chose to do for myself. Yeah. So that's why your desire should be in a special book. Manage yep. in a special way, reverence given to it, care given to it. What you mm -hmm. love stays with you. What you love stays with you. A human That's... being to paper, yep. whatever, yep. it stays with you. So those desires that you're writing down, hide them from the negative energy of others. We know yeah. that. So don't go around the world saying to your friend, I can do this, I'm going to do this. And then you don't. And two years later, your friend is doing it and you go, well, that was my idea. Well, who knows it was your idea? What That's... did you do about it? What actions or steps did you take to make your yep. idea a reality? You gave it away. Yeah. You spoke too soon. You have to own it. Yes. You have to get to nurture it. You own it. You nurture it. Right? You give about love. Right? It's that's this is from you for from you it yes. everything comes from you yeah it's so your care. you gotta take care of yourself you know i i wrote some things outside in, i know i was in the garden because it said it and that little red book had cover i had about 12 things written on there 12 I things it, okay yep um july 31st at 2 p.m 2001 2001, that's like yes. 20, all 20 of years things. ago? I had all of those things that I wanted. How much, you know, well, because you guys have to give me a break on this. Money is my game. That's what I'm trained to do. I come from people that decide you have to have wealth. So that's my whole thing, right? That's my DNA. It's in my blood. Hence my name, Schillingford, right? So they were actually money lenders. So, I mean, let's leave that alone. So... I had all these desires written down mm -hmm. in order of importance and there was about maybe 11 and I had the book there and I was writing Nano Remo and I wanted an, uh, a place to write the characters of the story, what they were doing, who they were and you know that. So I just grabbed the book from mm -hmm. me and I took it and I to open, I found the blank page and your mind is going so you need to do this right away. So anyway, the book was on the table. And you know my brother from England that always comes on the show. He called, he's slim. He's very, he yep. be so slim. They would call him Master Slim. He was so skinny and tall. So he came to visit and the book was on the table and he opened it and he's flipping. Brothers are so inquisitive. And <laughs> he sat in and he looks at this and he said, whoa. Yeah. He said, well, I know you, you acquired one thing on that list. And I go, what list? I will go in the kitchen. Our family, the kitchen is where everybody comes to congregate. Okay. You know, so I came from the stove area and I ran to the other side. I said, what book? I grabbed the book. You never know what I would write, right? So I, 
<laughs> so I said, okay. And then I looked at it. I said, oh, I, I forgot this. And he said, everything. I said, yeah, everything. He said, well, I know you got one thing. And I said, what's that? He said, your car. Because I had written, I when I retired, I wanted a luxury car. And I wanted yes. cash for it. So I did that. And he said, so what about the other nine things? And I looked at it and I went, oh, everything. I wrote them down. And if you look at the other pages, there were action plans to do that. Each item was given a page after that. And what can I do to make sure this happens? Yes. So I had plans so important. And which I followed. Yeah. So that's, that is how it works for me all the time. You cannot just write it down, turn your back and walk away. It's not enough. Say, pa, it's just not enough. No. You have to do better than that. Yeah. You have to, you have to say, okay, I would like to do this. If it means you need to go to school or you need to do that or you need yeah. to train or you need, I want to, everybody comes and they said, I want to lose weight. I said, so what are you doing about it? Yeah. Like every, I heard so many times, it's somewhere is coming or somewhere is here, but or it's COVID, things is going to be pandemic over. I, I gained so much weight sitting around. I want to lose weight. What are you going to do? What's your action? What's the next action? You wrote you it do? down. So now what's your action? Yeah. What it is you can do? So that's why writing is important. You wrote it down. What is your plan? Yeah. What is your plan? That's so important. You, you have desire. Right? Write it down what you desire. And next step is what's your action plan? Yes. Right? What can you do right after? <laughs> it's, it's just not like week later, not year later. Immediately. <laughs> and I'm a one person, don't know. Yeah, one person action coach. Yeah, what one can person, you do? anything. Anything. Yeah. Anything. What so can I do? We, can yeah, I Google? We, can I Google yeah. about this? There's Dr. Yeah. Google. Everybody goes to Dr. Google. Uh, or whatever. I know. <laughs> no, so, can you Google, Google is so much good. So good. You know, or you can you phone Yuko and say, Yuko, how did you do this? Or you know, yeah. somebody who has done something you want to do, and you yeah. ask, how do you do this? Somebody's so, already figured it out, right? Yes, like because there's always somebody. It's all figured out already. You do yeah. not have to invent the wheel again. No. The wheel is no. round. So go to the person who invented the wheel, the person yep. you know who started that and succeeded and say, how did you do that? Yeah. And if that person does not, is not willing to show you how, jump to the next one. Just keep going. You must you get You have that. so many choices. Yes. Don't get discouraged because the one person once said no. You got me. When somebody said no, means yes, you, you, yes, are, you yes, have a yes. chance to have another door. So that's what I mean. So make your plans. Yep. Write your desires down. Take an action plan. If your first action is to ask somebody for help and the person says to you, I'm sorry, I don't know, or I, I or, or you'll figure it out, which, which actually became our coin. We used the word. Yeah. Because the person said, Oh, you'll figure it out. And and you and I said, Okay, we'll figure it out when I we'll ask. Figure it out. Yep. So do not stop and say, Well, I went to so and so for help and they said no. And, and they didn't help me. I'm going to sit in the corner and cry. Really, man? No. You can't sit in the corner and cry. Move it. You know what they will say? Get up and find what you can do. Move your, you know, you know what I mean? Oh, yes, very much. You have to keep moving. Well, I know you need a rest. But you know what? It's sucking your thumb and stay in the corner and cry. It's not cute anymore. No. It, it was cute maybe two, but we're not two years old yet. So yeah. you have to do that as an adult. Explore. Yeah. Explore. You know what? And then today is write it down. Just write it down. Explore. Write it down. You have so many pages. Like just, you know, explore, write it down, express yourself, get it out what's in your head and heart, right? And then it might be messy. Eventually, it'll change it to the shape and your desire is going to be stronger and you get used to you get used to like write it down you get used to believe what's in there i i kind of think i believe in muscle right first you're not comfortable you don't have a muscle desire muscle you no. don't really have writing down the muscle yet but as you doing it 
single time, you are training yourself to write it down, and you put the training yourself to put the emotion into them, and you training yourself to make you believe this is gonna become this is gonna come true. Yes, right? and the energy is so strong. Yeah, you get a muscle. muscle. It's like it's like what Taran does with his clients, where he yes. gets them to exercise and train yes. and do that. It's you. You don't know how people say says to me, "Oh, you you love writing and you love reading, and so for you all that is easy." It's not easy. It's easy to walk away and say, "I do not want to do this today," but I have a commitment to self, and that commitment tells me, "Tessa Marie, sit down and do what yeah. you know you have to do if you want to be successful." And, and that is when like, I yeah. sit, and you yeah. write. So it's going to be difficult. You have it never is. written in a sentence in a pen before. That's what you're going to tell me when yeah. I ask you to do it. But do it anyway. Yes, train if you yourself. Put, even if you go, you put, I want to do, and then you realize you have one. Oh, no, Tessa Marie says, don't use one. So you cross one, you put desire. Go to the next line. Yeah. I desire to be the best um, cook in the world. Write it down. Write it down. And then, like, then, remember Tessa Marie said, it's okay to be messy. You're not going to share with anybody anyway. No. You, have, you can keep this book to yourself. And even if, you, even if somebody happens to know and see it, you can still just ignore the feel, feeling of the critics. We get, you know yeah. how many times in a day I get criticized? Oh, your lipstick is too <laughs> you red. You never get criticized. I do. Worry. I do. Your never. lipstick is too red. Um, you wear too much makeup. You, you, you are jumping up and down. You should be retired and sit down. I hear so much things, so many things people say to me. And oh, they, my God. And, and you wonder, what do I do if it? I say, oh, you know, sometimes if I know them well enough, I use that word that starts with the F. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, oh, young. <laughs> and I, you know, I go, oh, I say, you mean, of all the things in this yep. worldwide world that's happening out there, the best thing you want to talk to me about is my lipstick. Pretty man. And, yeah, you yeah, know. and you know me enough to know that I don't care. I will not change it. So why are you wasting your breath on me? Yeah. Yeah. Use it for something. It's, it's like pointless. Pointless. It pointless. is. Pointless. It's unbelievable. And then I am pretty sure 10 o'clock in the morning on your street, you're the only one dressed like that and jacking <laughs> up and down in your backyard. I Who mean, cares? <laughs> Can you see what I'm Who wearing? Cares? I know. <laughs> one of my young people said to me, the only person I know who gardens in a long dress is you. <laughs> oh, me too. I Actually, I do have, I don't know, I cannot really show, but. I don't know. I have a long dress too. I love I love dressing up to do everything, but that's my design. Me too. That's my choice, I, you know. I got I got dressed too. <laughs> and I know it's odd and, and a few of my friends have said to me, Oh Tessa Marie, she's just too much. And yes. I, I, I don't mind that name because I know that I am. But let us go back to desires. Yes. <laughs> and writing it down. So here you are. You've written down for years. You want to have yeah. You desire a, a, a lovely car. You've written down for years, you want this beautiful home. You've written down for years, you want this amazing wife. You've written down for years, you want this handsome, Adonis, God, Greek looking man. You've yes. written down for years, you want all this amazing furniture in your house. And then once you get it, you ignore it. Then what do you think will happen? You want that nice car, but you keep it in the garage. You won't drive it because, oh no, I will not drive my nice car in the winter. Because, yeah. So somebody once told me that, you mean you're driving this car in the winter? I said, hello. Yeah. I said, oh, oh, yeah. I mean, I bought this car. And if this piece of steel cannot take some snow, my body can yeah. take snow. Well, that piece of steel is coming out there too and have some snow. And that is what I said to them. So you wanted this beautiful woman. Now you have her. You are finding faults with all her imperfections. What is your point? Were you blind at the time? Mm -hmm. Or did you think Adonis was not going to go south sometime? He would develop a punch. You know, his muscles might go north or east or south, wherever they go. Didn't you know that man? So go back to the memory of why you wanted this. Yeah. All this beautiful home and this garden that you wanted, like my garden, I work with it. So now I always said I will enjoy it. So when you write those things down, yeah, 
make sure that you spend time when you receive them to enjoy them remember yeah. i had a friend who came into my office at the bank i was having some personal problems with a staff member and i and she knew about it and she was a friend um, and also i was her manager and she came in my office put her hands under her chin shoulders on the desk and she said don't you just hit your job and, and you know me my my father said before tessa does anything she laughs she smiles and he said the smile is deadly especially when she takes a glass and she puts it like this mm -hmm. and she's so i looked at her and i said to her no <laughs> no but if I should ever come to that stage in my life where I hate this job or any job, I am going to find a chair, sit down, <laughs> close my eye, and remember when I did not have this job, how much I desired it. Yeah. And that to take care of all the problems in the job. I should That's... have realized this is part of the territory. Yeah. Their mountains, their valleys, their successes, their fruits, their farming, their space. That's so important. Yeah. And I, I said, no, I'll just close my eyes and say, you know, I remember when you didn't have the job, how much you desired it. And, and then I'll stand up and go fight my battle. And that's, that's so true. What you you, have you're going to go back to the main reason or like yes, the beginning. Yes, go back. To, yes, go right? back. Like it's go yeah. back. That's, I think that's why it's writing down is good because mm -hmm. when you read it back you and you because you put the emotion to it when you write when you write it down right so you wrote it down 10 years ago 20 years ago yeah, and then when you yeah when you back and read and your emotions coming back go back and find out why why yeah. did you want this woman yeah. why did you desire this man why did you desire this home and now you neglect it, you don't cut the lawn, you don't make an yeah. effort to keep it decent, you don't appreciate the furniture, you, you, you abuse it. What's your point? You desire it, enjoy it, sit, yeah. stand up in your home and go, I love my home, I love my life. There's Feel nothing it. wrong with Feel that. It. Yeah. Always love where you are. When you are loving something that is not of in you right now, yeah. You're not concentrating on all the beautiful and amazing things that are in you. That's so true. That is that's, right yeah, there. Yeah. That's why when you do something, right? Drink coffee or drink yes. wine or scotch. You have to feel it. You have to engage it. You gotta put yes. the emotion to it. Like have a coffee and just like, oh, it's good coffee. You put the emotion to it. You feel it. That's so important. Go back to the moment. So that's why whatever you do something, whatever you do something, feel it. Just, you know, engage it. Even engage. if like I said, yes. have a sip of wine. You know, don't just like gobble it down. Have a sip of wine. Taste it. Write it down. You feel it one, one by one. One by one. Right? The word by word. You put emotion to it. And then you can go back to when you have a bad day, when yes. you have like sad moment, you open it, you read your it. emotions. Yeah. It. yeah. Coming back. Yes. Right. So, so that's I'm, so that's it's not that we're not done with you. So hang on with us. We have more to share with you. We always <laughs> have more to share. Our stories are always true life stories. It is, it's it's a true story. <laughs> We, we tell you what we are going through. What we come to bring to you on Sunday Self Care Show is because something we've tried already and we know it works. We yep. just want you to have that fulfilled life. We want you to enjoy every day of your life and always find those moments in time that you can enjoy because the moments in time are, are tiny. Yes. Moments are not five minutes. They're not. No. They're, they're not. They're, they're just a nanosecond. They were, yes, that actually yes. it's your whole life yeah you know so what we want you to do is to understand what we we love about living life and we're sharing with you all the things that we think is the best thing for you and maybe you will not get all of it but you can take one of it that's why yuko and i always said we started this in the morning blessings we gave a nugget 
a black pearl or a rare pink Canadian diamond. So there is one thing that you picked up from our, our, our 45 minutes of you or so this morning already that you can take. Mm -hmm. And maybe you are writing your things down. Maybe you're already doing this, but you haven't started taking action. So Yuko, you can tell them about your journey. Tell them how that started and where, how, just talk about that a bit. Yuko on journey. journey. <laughs> oh, Yuko on the journey? Yes. Oh, that story. Okay. We, because you know what story? We, we've talked so many stories or so many times. So I was like, okay, which one, which one you want me to talk? <laughs> yeah, I have IG Live. It's called uh, on the journey. And then first I thought it was like, <laughs> I told Tessa, I think it's going to be title is going to be meant to me because I can learn from everybody. I love learning. I can learn, I can learn from just talking with people. And she's just like, do not, it's like mentor me. It's, it's not good. So, <laughs> so I just like, why don't you do, do you go on the journey? And as soon as she say that whole vision, it's open up. And then I could see myself. I have a vision. I visit everybody. I visit the people I wanted to talk. And then it's just so exciting and listening through their conversation, through the experience. I can learn through the experience, conversation, whatever they're going through, whatever they just want to share what they want to do. And then just like, that's going to be fun. And then I am having fully fun. But you Every, see, yeah, you could, uh, sorry, you could, I didn't mean to no, cut no, you, no. but I want you to align it with writing it down or seeking or doing something. So Yuko come, comes and she said, Tess Marie, I'm, I want to do this. Like she said, mentor me. And I asked, well, what? And then she's telling me. And then I said, well, you really want to know about them. So why don't you visit them? Everybody yeah. we know is from a different country. So pretend we are visiting their country. I and know, we want to tell fun. them about the country. And they will tell us about their life in the country, where they live, what country, yeah. what in the world. And she said, great, that's a wonderful idea. But that didn't stop there. Yuko had an idea in her head to do that, to, to get people to mention, I don't know, what she said to me did not sound like mentoring. It sounded like getting to know about people when mm -hmm. she explained it to me. So she took a step and said, you know, a thought came, you should do this mentor me thing. The second thought was, talk to Tessa Marie. She did that. So action, did you notice her action? Small action. She took yeah. the action. She yeah. called me. That's what I mean by action. She called and she said, Tessa Marie, this is what I'm thinking. Mm. And the action was, okay. yeah, yeah. And I said to her, well, no, why don't you call it, you go on a journey. And the next day, the woman was on live doing you go on a journey. <laughs> and guess who was her first guest? Me. <laughs> The and said, yes, of course, we are going on a journey. And it was fabulous. And this journey is going on and she's getting more. So a thought came. The second thought was to call me. The third thought was to tell me about it. She knew I would support her. I would yes. always support her. Thank and you. then she knew that if I gave her a name, it name it, she can think. I said, why don't you call it? I didn't say call it. I said, why? And she thought of it, and I could see her face was moving. Her mind was going at 90 yeah. miles a minute. And I'm thinking, where is she going now? Because I know <laughs> that brain of hers. And then she took off and she said, great, I'm going to do it. And I didn't know it was, I was going to be the first rabbit in her bag. So the next thing I know, <laughs> first comes, so do you want to be my guest? I go, what for what? Oh, for my, you go on a journey show. I go, okay, all right, we're going there, are we? I'm the rabbit in the bag. And, they, and she took off and she has collected so many fascinating things and conversations i always drop in and talk and, and listen but everybody has a story to tell her and she's learning very much and then i learned from i visited india palavi in yes india. and then i find that me and palavi and i we have common we can talk to strangers like palavi said I go to say bus uh, stations, train station, whatever. I sit down and I can start making conversation with strangers. I just like, I'm the same way. You know, you never know. You never My know <laughs> when you visit and talk, make a conversation. 
<laughs> it turned into really fun journey. Yes, it does. Yeah. But my son used to say to me, and my grandson does the same thing. Do you know these people? Do you know them? You don't talk to them. I said, who said I can't? Yeah. So I start a conversation. Some people go and they look and I'm like, oh, yeah. and I don't care. Hello, how are you? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's how you start. Yes. It's a journey. Like just, you know, say hi, smile, and hi, how are you? Well, yeah, my friend um, Corinne and I, when we when we used to go walking because now she's hurt her leg um we'd be coming walking on the sidewalk and people are coming towards us and, sh- and sh- we'll go okay let's say hello to them hello yeah. and they go uh, 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 hello I... <laughs> <laughs> so, so just to get just to get this reaction we do it and we start laughing grown it's, women it's yeah, and like kids you know and that's what we did so sometimes you have to stimulate other people and so now though because of covid everybody goes hi hi <laughs> everybody's greeting you and stuff which i love to see the people oh my gosh there's a people yeah he's a person another human and so, so you go so what did you think of this let's check to see what these guys were saying about us today or about our show today guys we, we appreciate all oh, of yeah. you we're getting a lot of loves. I know that. Like, just get a lot of loves. And yes. no, let's, I don't think you. Don said, love this lady. This ladies. Have Who's to so? go. Going for a motorcycle ride with my husband. Oh, oh Don sure is that. living the life of dreams. She is just amazing. I'm sure she already, she already on, the, on the bicycle now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm, sure she, she, I'm sure she well, She's already gone. She must be going to Michigan. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. over there is America is a holiday too, right? Oh yeah, it's, it's Independence it's Day. Independence Day? Yes. In the States. Hey Rosie, Rosita. Rosita is, here. is enjoying. Tehran of course day. was here. Colleen, my friend came. Don was yep. here. And then we had Amma too. Everybody, Emma. thank you for coming. Somebody's laughing away. Did you join us? I have some daughter. friends from Japan too. Yes, I see that magical <laughs> Boto joined us. Yeah. And then who was the who else joined us? Yeah. Um, Alberta came from An- France. Yes, and Angela came from um, Knoxville, I think, or I don't know where she's gone away. Okay. okay. And then Marina's from Toronto. Yes. And oh my God. Aman <laughs> from from in is it India, Aman, or are you from? I think Aman, Aman lives all time zones. Okay. I don't think Aman sleeps. <laughs> e- Erica, Erica came, and I, and then how are you, Tessa Marie? How are you, Yoko? Oh you, we, you know, magical butter. We we are just enjoying the very breath of oh, life he, itself. He knows. Alberto knows. <laughs> he, he knows we are wild, and so. Sometimes we're a little bit offline, but yes, we're just like, uh, yes. you know, staying um, course, but... <laughs> Palavi's writing everything down. Oh, yeah. I give thanks to, I give thanks in advance. Yeah, what Amal, you yeah, think? you live all the... Amal lives... I don't think he sleeps, or maybe there are thousands of Amal in the whole world. Because he <laughs> responds anytime. <laughs> Hiroko, he Hiroko joined us. Hiroko was here. Nice. But all of you guys, I hope the hangover was good. <laughs> I hope you got over Marina came from as you said from Toronto. The hangover was amazing. And so so that's really amazing. Everybody oh, came. Ha- Carolina. <laughs> Carolina uh, Azim, Joy Rosie came. And Rosita Taran came. Was, Taran was here too. It's so nice. He's usually busy on Sunday. I know. And Hitch um Drew was here, so that we had we had quite a lot of movement makers. Yep. And and love and love love happy chain was there. Yeah, my friend yeah. from uh, yeah, she lives in Missaga too. That's yeah, nice. and of course Marina had a lot to, to talk to us. Tell us you, you know how she how she be doing. I know. So, so I go. Thank I hope you. you guys, all of you, can you know how much we appreciate having you guys on, but and you know how yeah. much we we look forward to tickling you and giving you something. So. Talk a little, send us a little message and, you know, let us know, share it. If you know somebody you know can enjoy that or have something, you know, that would make them make it easier for them. Very much. And yeah. then you know what? The power of writing. 
you know, you can do. It's, I'm sure you know some people they already start doing it, and whoever you know maybe hasn't start doing it. I recommend do it, do it. Like you know, it's it's not too hard, and then you all you need is your maybe you, maybe it helps if you have something the note you can just feel it really help, and then pen, and that's all you need to start. Right? Yeah. Done. Yes. Yeah. And if you have the time, and if you have the the get a nice book. Yeah. That really helps. Excuse me. You're right. <laughs> If it's a nice book that makes you want to open it, that makes yes. you want to feel it, makes you want to write it down, right? So, so you know what? I, this is like uh, from 2006. I brought the old ones, and then some of them I wrote in there. They already came true. Of course. Yeah. Of course, because you wrote them down. Yeah, I wrote them down, and then you know that's good. I. You can reread them. You have yep. to. So that you, as, yeah, you as can modify you them. So you must reread them so you can modify them because part of the desire has been fulfilled and you need to take an action plan to make the other part become a reality. Yeah. So you have to, you have to make sure that you go over them and fix them. Make them more specific. Yeah. Give them a little bit of an oomph. Say something about them that you know will make them happy. You know, would give them a boost. It's like giving your plant fertilizer. So if you're growing a plant, your desires are seeds that you're putting in the ground. You have to give them sunshine. You must water them, and you need to add a little um, fertilizer. Yeah. So when you reread them, you're going to fix it, and you might take your pen, put it to your side, your face, and you go, you know what? No, I need it. I need to add this to it. Yeah. That's why you reread it. So. So you guys, that if you have a question and you doubt what we're saying about writing, the effect of writing things down, I want you guys to try it. Try it for a year That's and so see true. what yep. happens. Try. Yep. try it for a year. Give your, because some goals are so big, they desire more than a year. Yeah. Some goals, like my goal for getting the car of my choice, took a long time, but I had a date. I wanted it at retirement. And I got it at retirement. But at that time, I, I hadn't retired. It was years later I retired. Mm -hmm. So your goal might need uh, take six months. Some might take three weeks. Um, some might take a year. Some can take 10 and 15 years. But That's write right. it down. Write it down and, and, and take revisit action. It. Yeah. Revisit and revisit. take action. Give it action. Because uh, it's like the world we live in, we don't have those like uh, how to say genie like you just know the you magic. The genie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have one yet. This is my genie. <laughs> but anyway, that's why I just you know what how we do it genie way right now is we write it down, we put the emotion to it, and then read it, reread it, and we nurture them, take action. So that's what we you know we recommend that way too. It works. It's if it's not working for us, we wouldn't recommend it to you guys. That's right. Yeah. yeah. These are tried and true. Yeah. These things that we're doing are tried and true. This this Sam um, Sunday self care show is these are the things that we have tried ourselves yeah. and our results. And based on our results, we come to talk to you about it. Yes, you have to do this. You must do this. It's it's your dream, your desire, your goal, your plan. And Life, a life without a plan is like a, a ship on the ocean without a rudder. It That's just right. goes. It doesn't know where to. It doesn't know where it has to go. It yeah. is just going. So that what you have to remember. And any yeah. storm will face it. One of the things you have to do if you don't have a plan, you are putting an anchor in your life that will not help you. You must have a plan. So I'm lifting my anchor today, mm -hmm. and I'm going over with it. And that's yeah. what you have to remember. That's Take it. your anchor and say, you know what? I am anchored in this spot. I've been doing this for years, and I am not getting the results I'm seeking. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to pull up anchor and try mm -hmm. another spot. I like that idea. Yeah, because you're, you're standing in this spot. You're allowed spot. to do that. Yeah. And you're saying to yourself, I am stuck in this moment. And you know that. And you can feel you're not doing something. And so you say, you know what? I'm going to pull up anchor. I cannot get, there's no fish in this water. You are fishing. No. 
life is a fishing journey you're out yes. there fishing and you have these goals and you're standing in this water you're in this harbor and nothing is happening there's no action there for you so what do you do you pull up your anchor and say okay yep. set sail we're moving yep we'll and get another you, fish you are moving you're going somewhere else where there's better fish and you'll find a fish <laughs> yeah you can find another way to do this and that's what it is you're not reaching your goal you're sitting there you're in a job for example for five years and you look at the situation and you know you know what there is no path for success in this job for me so that's a time would, you you can pull your anchor yes i remember my daughter had was at the bank at the time and she got head hunted and she had to wanted to leave she was leaving she brought it up to her boss mm -hmm. and her boss said i don't want you to go i want you to stay and I, I mean she's my daughter she's an angel she's kind she's quiet she's not like me Jillian is not like me she's more refined I think and she looked at him and she said well you know I forgot his name she said you want me to stay but the position I, I should be in you have it so do you plan to die or when do you plan to quit she said that yes yeah, she told me she said your job is the next one for me so you want me to stay so i want to know when you plan to die or when you plan to quit which one it is i need to know because otherwise i can't stay <laughs> good for her nice. <laughs> make sure you get a book that is a, that is truly you a book that yes. represents you yep. fill the pages um fill i when i get my book yeah. I, I i when i look for those i I you, I you touch feel, the feel it. yeah yeah and you know I there's a, one of the young ladies I mentor I'm um, Tanya Tanya sends me a book every year and those books you can, she knows me because she used to be my assistant and when Tanya sends me the book I know she knows how I look for the book she sent me so she she when she sends it I can tell I can tell she 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 thought of me at the time because it's so much me. You know, when she, when I I get it in she sends it in the mail every year for my birthday. And when she when I touch the book, I can feel and I know and I'll send her a note and say, "No, Tanya, I really love this book." And she'll tell me, "I I really I understand." So yeah. that is one of the things you must always try to do. Yep. Is to is to choose your book with passion. Choose your book. Let's feel it. Open it. Feel it. Please. Touch I the can, pages. I can feel it. This is like a little bit. It's not flat. No, I feel it's the flowers, post. and I feel the word. This book too. You so. to you, and then you open the book and you touch the pages because yeah. that's where like, the pages must feel good to you because yeah, that's where your just, desires are going to be on. Very pretty. Therefore, too, the it pages. must represent you. So, so that's one of the things. Anyway, guys, okay. it's almost. We've been doing this for all one twenty minutes. One of us won't be able to speak again for today, and I have a funny feeling who it will be. <laughs> oh my gosh! So, oh. so based on all of that, have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your Sunday. Talk to you guys later. We give you such a wonderful thank you, merci beaucoup for coming. Arigato gozaimasu. And all of that. And thank you. <laughs>